What's going on world? It's your man Saint Uno back again for another one. And today's video is about how to know better. No, not know better. Know better. What am I talking about? Let's hop into it. So, you ever been in one of those situations where you got flunked the fuck out and like life just puts you on your ass and you fucked with somebody you wasn't supposed to fuck with or you fucked with a situation you wasn't supposed to fuck with or you did some dumb ass shit to yourself that you knew you shouldn't have done and then you sit there and you all fucked up and you like, damn, I know better than to do some shit like that. Then how did you get in that situation, right? You saying you know better, but you not knowing better, AKA you not in owing better, you know what I'm saying? And that's one thing that is really important that we, that we slip up on time. Cause a lot of the times in this world, it'll be, we'll say yes to the external world even when we know deep down in ourselves, we hear that little voice in our back of our head and it's really a no for us. Like, we were like, damn, I know I don't fuck with this job, but oh, I think I need this, 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 that, and the third. So you say yes to some bullshit and then you end up in a fucked up situation. And it's like, damn, I knew better. But since you weren't strong enough to say no in O to that shit, then you got down, got put in a bad situation. So how do you know better, in no better? What does this look like on a day-to-day -day basis? Basically what I'm talking about is setting healthy boundaries for you and yourself because everything starts from within. Everything comes from within. Your external world is a reflection of your internal world. So whenever you hear, whenever it's a no for you, it's the no for me. Whenever it's a no for you, don't, no matter how logical or how much, you know what I'm saying, pressure you may be under from any sort of person, place, or situation, learn to tap into that intuition, that voice that says no, and practice saying no. Even on some little shit, like, it is just, this is just like an everyday, like, you might have friends that hit you up and say, oh, they want to go out and you ain't seen them in a while and they're your close friend or whatever, something like that. But you know, deep down, you don't feel like fucking doing something. You know, you're supposed to be at home making videos or doing some work or some shit for your life to put you in a better situation in the long term. But you don't want to, you want to avoid that friction. You're trying to not come off as an asshole or not trying to rub people the wrong way or not trying to seem like holier than thou or better than people or some shit. When it's, none of that is really, that's your ego playing tricks on you. None of that is really the issue. At the end of the day, your spirit knows what's best for you. Knows, N O K N O W, what's best for you. So, like, just really understand that. And it's going to keep putting you in damn situations until you finally nut up and stand on your shit and say no to stuff that doesn't serve you. So, like I said, creating boundaries for people, places, things, situations, jobs, all that shit that, you, that is just not for you energetically. Like, and a, a, how to do this is really got to be honest with yourself. You get whenever, no matter what it is, every time you step out your door, every time you leave your crib and you go on and you do some shit with your day, ask, okay, is this serving my highest purpose? Is this really what I'm trying to be doing? Or am I just making, um, am I compromising with the world? And don't get me wrong, like you have to compromise in the world. Like everything is a balance. So you can't just always be self-serving and always, you know what I'm saying? Just, no, if I don't feel like doing some shit, like, yeah, you gotta make exceptions. You gotta do the shit you have to do to do the shit you wanna do. But at the same time, we can get carried away with this shit and then we'll get into a situation where we're just always saying yes to the external world, always saying yes to people, always saying yes, I can work extra at this job, always saying yes, I can do favors for people, always saying yes. Even at like, even think about when you go to like stores and they go and, and, and like, it's crazy now. Like you go to a store, and motherfuckers don't do shit, but take your goddamn order and they, the little shit pop up on the screen. It's like, you wanna leave a 15 to 20% tip? Nigga, you didn't do shit, but press a button and take my fucking order? No, no, I don't wanna leave no fucking tip. But you don't wanna be looked at as being broke or being an asshole or being some fucked up shit. When it really, it's just like, I mean, if you wanna give a tip, sure. Like there's nothing wrong. There's nothing right or wrong. But what I'm saying is if it's a no to you, then then stand on that. Really, really practice that no. Like, cause otherwise you're gonna, that's if you always say yes to shit that's really a no to you, then you trick the universe into thinking, okay, well this nigga wants more of these kind of situations. Like there's no brownie points. There's no rewards. There's no like, you know, there's no rewards for like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, um, like there's no brownie points. Like you can't just, compromise yourself all the time and think you're gonna get a pat on the head from, oh, okay, this person always 
looks out for other people and never does what they want to do. Let me give him everything he desires. No, it's not going to work like that. It's just going to keep giving you the same bullshit that you say, that you feel is a no, but you keep saying yes to. Like, you have to externalize this shit or else the universe is just going to give you the same bullshit. So ask yourself, like, create boundaries is one. The second is ask yourself, honestly, is it a no for me? If it's really a no for me, then say no. Don't be afraid. There's nothing toxic. There's nothing wrong about saying no. There's nothing toxic about trusting your intuition and not doing shit you don't want to feel like doing. Again, if you always compromise and do shit that you don't feel like doing, the universe is just going to keep putting you in situations where you got to do shit you don't really feel like doing. And then you're wondering why, like, damn, I'm a good person. You know what I'm saying? I help people. I do this. I go to work. But I'm still broke. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm nice to people, but they're not nice to me. You know what I'm saying? I, I do this. I do that. I, you know what I'm saying? And, and when am I going to get my turn? Only you can decide when you get your turn. No one's going to just, the universe is going to give you your turn for being a good little dude. Like, we get trapped in this little goody two-shoes shit where it's just like nothing's good or bad. It's just like, this shit is just an algorithm. You got to know how to work it. <clears throat> and your internal guide, aka that no, and you that said, no, fuck that. I don't like doing that shit. That is your internal guide. But you got to externalize it. You can't just, you know what I'm saying, feel it and then repress it. It's not going to do shit for you. So like I said, if it's a no for you and you just want to say yes to please somebody else in the external world, then you're going to keep getting bullshit situations that you don't really rock with. So, um, and another thing to say no to is rejection and trial and tribulation. Like, you got to be strong. The spirit, the universe wants to only can fuck with strong people. You can only be a vessel for some greater shit if you can really stand and it's like, what's the saying? Stand for something or fall for anything? Niggas be out here falling for anything. So it's like, no real spiritual power is gonna come into you and like, oh, okay, let's, let's like, you know what I'm saying? This shit is all a test. You can't, you gotta say no to rejection. Like a lot of times when you get rejected or you get put on your ass in certain situations in life, people may get tricked into thinking like, oh damn, like this may be God telling me like, maybe this isn't for me or you know, so, oh, this is God saying like, the universe saying I shouldn't do this. When in actuality, like, who are you talking to? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Aren't you, aren't you the, you know what I'm saying? like. Didn't God or whatever create you? Or don't doesn't your will doesn't your don't you count for something? If you don't think that you matter and you're always trying to please something, whether it's just a person or some idea of some God or some shit, like you're gonna every time you get rejected or every time you face challenge or adversity, you're just gonna be like, oh okay, well this is just me being redirected for some other shit. People always wanna act like oh like like you might keep getting thwarted. And people are like, oh, well, this is just divine timing. And this is just, you know, the universe saying I should wait. Which, like, yeah, you, you got to be patient out here. I'm not saying don't be patient. But you got to say no, fuck that shit. Like, you are the universe. You aren't. There is no, like, oh, that's the universe. That's God. And then I'm just, the like, stop thinking of yourself as just, like, a little human. Like, yeah, you might be in a human body. Sure. But, like, you are an expression of the universe. Like, your will matters. You matter just as much as anything. Unless you say you don't, which you don't, like I'm saying. And so, and that's why people that are assholes or stuff like that, like they like you be looking. I'm like, damn, how, how they keep manifesting all this kind of shit? Well, they're at least being true to themselves, and they realize, like, no, I'm not gonna do no shit if I don't really feel like doing it. You know what I'm saying? Even though if it may rub other people the wrong way, it ultimately gets them farther. Because another thing is, people can people can sense manipulation energy. So. You know what I'm saying? People are, are gonna under, feel that like, oh, this person don't really want to do this, but they're just doing it for me. And that's not really attractive. Like when you say no to some shit and people are, it's like confusing. It's like, damn, like I thought they wanted to, I thought they were gonna say yes to that. I think people get like thrown off and they started getting intrigued and they they subconsciously think you have some greater sense of direction than, than, than they do. So they'll fuck with you probably even more that you said no to them. Cause it's like, oh shit, like, I might be flunked out. Let me see what they got going on. Because they said they must know what they're doing. It basically shows that you have a strong sense of direction for yourself. You know what I'm saying? So don't don't feel bad. You can't. The universe don't rock with no weak niggas. You can't be a weak nigga just out of being a yes man. You know what I'm saying? Even, there we go. The idea of a yes man. Like, you you, you got friends and shit. And people that always just, like, you may make a song. And people are like, oh, yeah, that shit hard. That shit cool. Yeah, if, if you really think that shit's whack, you're not helping nobody. Like, you're not helping your friend if their music is whack and you tell them it's fucking good. Like, you're, you're just gonna end, they're just gonna end up meet somebody else who don't really give a fuck and be like, nah, nigga, this shit trash. And then that's gonna 
to hit them and be like, damn, let me finally get better. And they might end up fucking with that person more. And it's like, damn, like, why you fuck with them more? I, I be, I say I like your music and shit. Well, whether they know it or not, they can subconsciously sense that fakeness, you know what I'm saying? Fake shit don't float, it don't go nowhere. Everybody, you're here to be your most authentic self. And when you say yes to the external world, people in situations, and you say no to yourself, you know, people can sense that energy and they can use it to manipulate you and you don't end up getting nothing and y'all both getting fucked up because you don't know where you're going. So like, you'll find that if you just say no to people that actually might end up fucking with you more. Like it's all, everything's in reverse, you know what I'm saying? Don't think you have to be nice to get certain people's approval or get people to fuck with you. Just be true to yourself. The universe made you the way you are for a reason, you know what I'm saying? You gotta trust your own intuition. You gotta trust your decision making. You are the boss of your life. You know what I'm saying? You can't be the boss of your life taking directions from employees. It don't, no one's gonna wanna work for you then. And you realize, you think like, damn, I, sh I need more employees. I need people to fuck with me. Why? I'm, I'm compromising. And like I said, compromising is good to an extent. But at the end of the day, real power and real progress comes from having a strong sense of direction. And a lot of the times, that starts with the word no, N O. Don't be afraid to set boundaries. Don't be afraid to. Don't be afraid of rejection. If it's a no for, for somebody, okay, fuck you. I, that don't mean that has nothing to do with me. Just because you said no, that has nothing to do with my value. I'm gonna keep going and keep pushing in this same direction. And I bet you, them people that that didn't fuck with you at first, if you keep on in that same direction, eventually they're gonna fuck with you. They're gonna respect that. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta be in it for the long haul. It's basically long term. She thinking versus short term thinking you know when you when you're saying yes you're avoiding friction in the short term you don't want to make somebody mad you don't want to make this job mad in the short term you're trying to avoid that confrontation when really you need that rejection energy you need that confrontation energy that's like the fuel okay so all right fuck this didn't work out well, i'm gonna try if at first you don't succeed first you don't succeed you can dust it off and try again dust yourself off and try again try again mm -hmm. that's basically what i'm saying like keep like once you made up your mind and you're, you know when you made up your mind when it's, it's the thoughts and ideas that come to you when you're by yourself and you're alone in your room, it's like, damn, I really want my life to be like this. I really want to do this to my life. But then you go out to the world and it, it's just, it happens so subtly and smoothly. You don't even notice. You get tricked to thinking that it's really your mind when really it's you absorbing other people's energies and other people's thoughts and feelings. And you won't even feel like you're compromising in the moment until it gets to that catastrophic point where it's like, all right, it blows up in your face and it's like, damn. And that's when you always say, hindsight is 2020. And it's like, damn, I know better than to do shit like this. When really, you don't know better because you didn't N-O better, you know what I'm saying? Once you start to N-O better, that's the only way you can K-N-O-W better.